Hi everyone, in this short video I will go over the menu items in Flopzilla Pro. This is not a very important video, but every once in a while we get a question about what certain menu items mean, so I will just go over them here. The first section is File. This section deals with storing and loading save files. Under Commands, we list some of the quick buttons that are available. So, Tap for switching between percentage mode and combo mode. Ctrl Alt T is for getting text output for the currently filtered range. And Ctrl Alt S will give you the current contents of the statistics section. Alt N will allow you to enter a note for the current save file. If you have entered a note, then a note icon will be available in the upper left, and your note is displayed if you mouse over it. Settings Edit Startup Configuration will bring you to the Options menu. And you can also get to this menu by clicking here. If you are using magnification and quickly want to reset to 100%, then use Settings Reset Magnification to 100%. And you can use this option to quickly switch to a magnification of 200%. And this item is not actually a function. It's just a hint that you can also quickly change the magnification with Shift plus mouse wheel. Settings Enter Code is not a function that you'll ever need. This is just a function that we use for support. It allows us to tell Flopzilla to download a certain file from the internet. For example, in some cases we use this option to allow you to quickly install certain preflop ranges. With Settings Import Preflop Ranges, you can quickly import ranges from GTO Plus, Flopzilla Pro, CREF and Flopzilla V1. Here, GTO Plus and Flopzilla Pro use a new devs3.txt format. And Flopzilla V1 and CREF use a new devs2.txt format. After clicking Import Ranges, a dialog will come up that will let you select the location of the file. With Settings Dark Mode, you can quickly switch to Dark Mode, which you can also set in the Options menu by using a dim factor of 100%. With Settings Choose Different Language, you can select a different language for the interface. If new language updates are available, then you can download them with Settings Update Language Files. And with this option, you can let Flopzilla check for language updates when it starts up. Help about Flopzilla just contains some information on the current version. With GTO Plus, export to GTO Plus, you can export data to GTO Plus. This requires GTO Plus to be open on your computer. Also, GTO Plus needs to be using the same port number under GTO Plus Configuration. Finally, if you have a license for Flopzilla, then under Register, you can enter your email address and key. In order to activate Flopzilla, click on Activate Key. Should you need a new key, then you can request it on the website in our Contact section. And for this, you will need to fill in your hardware ID. And this hardware ID can be found here in this field. And that should cover all items in Flopzilla's menu.